really think the best play today actually is Amazon. So there's a number of things we could do today, long. Uh, PGR, if we didn't have the market that we have at this juncture, I would say we could look at PGR short today. We can still go look at that. In fact, I'll look at that really quickly here, but I, I think Amazon is the one to do. So again, don't get confused. We usually short. Today we're going long. Why? The market is up. Amazon's strong. It's a good bullish gap. To go short against this market, we need a good short. PGR is not good enough. Earnings season starts tomorrow, and we'll have a million things to do. We, we, we might not have had anything today if we wouldn't have these gaps, these bullish gaps today, because really, we're just, we're playing here something that is not normally what we do, but it's, it's there, so we have to do it. We have to do it when it's there. I really don't like Dow's gap that much, but it will work if the market goes up. So this is probably better over 50. Say you could go long this over 50. It's gonna not be easy to do. So if I had nothing else to look at today, I'd look at that, but we're luckily we do. That's not that good either. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, I'm trying to find the best thing we can do. So let's see if I'm right. Let's see if we're right. When we're done, we'll go over the market and we'll look at what's out for tomorrow. And again, I got out of the JPM, JPM calls. I, I, I got out. I mean, I thought yesterday was a good exit. I do not regret getting out. Booking money is important. All right, I'll keep an eye on it, Jackie. Yeah, I see what that just did. It's, uh, it's at 123, 122. I'll keep an eye on it. I will. I didn't look at the volume. Uh, it's not ready yet either way. Okay, here we are. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So let's wait. See if this is going to set up right. Nobody should be in anything yet. You got to wait. Wait, 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 wait. So let's do, let's do. Let's do 80 by 80. 80 by 80 Amazon. I feel good about that. 80 by 80. And we could be more aggressive. Here, right now, get the stop in at 80. Boom. Amazon. Targets 135, 135, 135. Here you go. You could be in it if you want it right now. And we could have been more aggressive. We could have, we could have, we could have been more aggressive. Here, Amazon. So we got to get over 134. Wow, beautiful entry here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here we go. Over 134. Here we go, Amazon. Let it run. This was the best gap today. I'm very good at what I do. 135. Woke up too late this morning. Didn't get out to see the birds. Got to get out for a park walk. After we're done here. Um, SP, we'll go over that. I know you're here for a trial. We'll go over that. First number is the entry. Second one's a stop. You're new. And again, we're going long today. So if you're new, just watch what we're doing here, and then we'll go over it when we're done. But the first number is the entry. Second one's a stop. Here we go. Over 134. Here. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. 
Wow, we've gone long every day since we got back from vacation. What is up with that, people? We didn't do one short this week. Now, I wasn't here yesterday, but what did you people do yesterday? I forget. I know Gerard told me. It is the Twilight Zone, Jackie. Ooh. Do, 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 450 in the spy. Let it rip. Let's see where JPM is even though I'm out. Oh, I think I did have a good exit on that. I think I did. I think I can. I think I can. All right, let's go back to PGR quick. This is going. Wow. Wild. Wild and woolly. Jackie, did you do it? That was insane. Here we go. 135 and a flush, and we're going to be out. And then we'll talk about the market. We'll talk about everything. Hold the options if you want to, but you must take profits. I did have a good exit on JPM yesterday. Never second guess yourself. Never second guess yourself when you're up 100%. <laughs> I mean, don't. When you're up a million dollars, take it. Here we go. Amazon. You didn't do the PGR, Jackie? It, it worked. It worked. It was crazy. But it did work. Brenda, do you know what you're doing today? Brenda is new. Don't get crazy. Wow, talk about wild and wooly. This is a little wild and wooly here. All right, who's still in Amazon? Who got out of it? You could have got out. I'm still in it. It's it's a little crazy as I'm watching this talking about PGR. We were talking about the whip. 67. 67. You almost you could have got out and almost got a dollar. I didn't. I'm looking for 135, but this is really whippy. But you could have got out and almost gotten a dollar there. So let us see. This is, it's crazy, this market. I have no words. We're going to really know what's going to go on the next couple of days though with the banks. So again, we'll talk about that more later. Where did PGR go? You could even do this here. 118, 117, 115. Dream target in this today. I'm, I'm letting it be. I'm sticking with this, making my life easy. Earnings season doesn't start tomorrow. Let's just take this up one more push. But it did get to 67. No reason for this to not keep going, though. Yeah, the market is with us, but this is a little jumpy. NVIDIA. Shelly, what are you doing? Here goes NVIDIA. We could have done NVIDIA. Call the option in this. Let it rip. This is, this is, I don't, this market, why are we even up today? Like, I didn't even have time to look. I just saw it and I said, geez, Louise. But I pretty much came back from vacation and said, well, these are the levels and boop. So it is what it is. Apple. Yeah, I mean, I think this traded strange yesterday, quite frankly. But again, if everything continues, that will as well. So I'm in Amazon. You could be out. Is everyone still in it? We could have done the spy. We could have done PGR. We could have done a million things today, actually. We could have done the video. We could have done the video. So I sent the options trade out in the video. 450 is probably a lock, so this is, it is what it is, like I said. I don't know where I would have put the stop in this. You're out of Amazon? It's good practice for you, Brenda. I think you should practice putting the order out ahead, though, because you messed that up the other day. So you bought it and sold it today. That's fine. I think you need to practice putting orders out, though. Um... PPI within expectations and jobless claims within expectations. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Wow, this is tempting, oh. isn't it? Because I think this could really go. 122.60. I don't know, that is tempting. Any questions about Amazon? So we're in this and we're waiting and that's all we can do. That's all we can do. So some people got out, some people are in it. Some people are waiting like me. Actually, Brenda, it just goes to me. I'm the only one that can see your chats. But I think you should practice, Brenda, putting an order out to sell it at a certain price. Like if you paid a dollar for something, I'm just making this up, to put a sell at two, practice doing that instead of just buying and selling I would practice that. In fact, if you don't practice it today, you could practice it tomorrow. And Brenda, you could practice it with this. You could go along the market here. You could do the market. You could practice it with that if you want. All right, what are we doing? So let's talk it through. One more push in Amazon. I wanted 135. I got 33 cents off of that. High was 134.67. No reason for us to drop off here, except for we're up. Um, watch the market action yesterday. Really surprised in this gap up. Really didn't have time to look at the reason. I guess it was econ, but people have been buying this market. You can't deny the strength now in the market. You can't. So whatever happens now going forward with earnings season will basically, you know, affect whether or not the market continues and makes new highs here or not. I don't know if that's going to happen. But if the banks report well, then that's probably the most likely outcome. The market will make new highs, which I never, ever, ever in a million years thought would happen in 2023. It hasn't happened yet, but we're, we're rallying. And so again, the banks start out earnings season and we'll see what they do and how they act. Jackie is waiting. I'm waiting. So anyways, NVIDIA, 450. We did this, we were talking about this yesterday with JPM. You gotta wait with longs. I would have preferred to short today. It really wasn't there. This thing here, you could have done and got out really, really quick, but it opened kind of strange, kind of whippy, kind of thin. Now it's fine. This still looks lower, but it really still looks really whippy. So I'm staying with the Amazon. I like this. I think we put the stop at the right place. Let's double, triple check it. Yeah, we did. So let's see if it holds. Time of the day is 9.41. God, this feels like JPM all over again. What day was that? Tuesday? We waited forever for that to go, and then it went, and then it went, it went, it went. we took forever. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Which is why I'm just reminding myself here, if I don't want to wait forever in a long, like I could have got out of this. If you don't get out in the first move in a long, you're waiting forever. And it's like just reminding myself here, waiting forever. Here we go, Amazon. If I want to get aggressive today, which I don't, it's not earnings season yet, wait till tomorrow. We could add here. If you want to add here, if you want to do a second trade, you could. Just reminding myself here, fast exit for the longs, quick or waiting forever. It paid off in JPM the other day, but I don't want to do that every day in the summer. And I don't want to go long every day in the summer, but are we gonna? I don't know. I don't think so, but. <laughs> Apparently, that's 
all we've been doing this week. Apparently, shall we get even still go along this? Uh. We can even still go along the market. Hmm. Let's just be patient. So again, stop is 80. It's 132.80. Dow failed. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about that. We'll go over that when we're done. Oh, ew. This really did fail. It, it, it needed to be over 50. This would have worked if it would have been over 50. Had to be over 50. Yep, this is a bust. I'm glad we didn't do that. But this PGR worked and it's still going to have one more move. So tomorrow is JP. Here it goes. Amazon. Let's not miss a exit in this one more push. If it doesn't get over the high, I'm going to be out. Uh, tomorrow is JPM and something else. Couple things. I want to say Wells Fargo. It's tomorrow. Woo. What is happening with this right now? Woo. Wells Fargo's tomorrow, okay, and JPM. Woo, this is a, that was a taily taily. I do not want to get dinged out in a tail. You know what? Let's put the stop at 50. Just give it 50 because I'm seeing that tail, even though we're still in it. Put it at 132.50. That was a weird tail there. 132.50, new stop in this if you're in it. Did we just have a number? <laughs> oh, that was like a machine from outer space. No econ left. Okay, very good. We got to get over 134. We got to hold over 134. We got to avoid any more shakeouts or tails. New stops 132.50 should hold us fine. And I'm reminding myself tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day to get out of longs fast because longs take forever. We don't want to trade all day in the summer. Maybe we'll have a nice short tomorrow. Maybe we will have Wells Fargo. And that actually is my top watch for tomorrow. Is not JPM. It's actually Wells Fargo. Now that I know that report. So we'll go over that chart. Again, if you wanted to be aggressive, you could add here. You could take it again if you get out. Mm. I mean, it's just, what is going on? NVIDIA, Shelly, what are you doing, NVIDIA? I called the NVIDIA call. Shelly, 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 what are you doing? You need to know what you're doing before you take a trade. Shelly, what are you doing, NVIDIA? Oh, you didn't do it? Oh, damn it. You didn't do it. Uh. This Amazon actually looks really good. It's just gotta be patient. Maybe I should have been more aggressive. I said we could have been more aggressive in the entry. If I would gotten in at 50, I would have been out in that first move. That's what I should have did. I just, I didn't want to be that aggressive today.
Okay, everything looks good. NVIDIA, if it pulls back, you might get in. Well, I would do a different strike. Here we go, Amazon. Do 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 do. This is like the Twilight Zone. Jackie's right. We never came up with a new theme song since I moved. <laughs> We're either going to revert back to the Twilight Zone theme song for good luck, or maybe we need some bird sounds since I'm into birds now. Here we go, Amazon. Bird sounds are very relaxing. I could just go onto YouTube and Google bird sounds. <laughs> See what comes up. Here we go, Amazon. 67 is the high. If it doesn't get over that, I am out. Out of the day trade anyways. Then we'll talk about the market, then we'll talk about tomorrow. And we'll talk about everything. I did have a good exit on this. So to have this kind of rally pre-earning season, right before the earning season, I say to myself, I scratch my head a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about in the overall market. Jackie said, me too, no one's living in reality. Well, I, I, I didn't look at today's numbers. I looked at yesterday's or Tuesday's or, no, it was yesterday. Again, I live in the real world too, Jackie. I don't, I don't see much improvement with prices. So I think this, that people are over exuberant if something is better than expected by a minuscule hair. So I kind of think it, yeah, I believe you. It's not in reality. And again, we've talked about this before, food prices are not included, and they're still way too high. And gas prices fluctuate. In fact, let's look at CBX. We didn't do this. I thought about doing it. I didn't do it. It's going. Uh, this usually is reverse of the market. This is oil, and for some reason, this has been rallying with the market, which I found interesting, too. Um, this is still a watch. Amazon's ready to blow, blow its top. If it could only do it by 10 o'clock, then we could get on with our lives. Here we go, 67 is the high. Any questions from anyone about anything? So SPN a question, the first number is the entry, second one's a stop. We got in at 80, stop was 80. Then we moved the stop to 50. This is a day trade, but I did call it call in this too. Um, used to buy four grilled chicken breasts for Wegmans. It used to cost $14 last year. Now it's 21 and they're not even organic. Yeah, chicken is the one thing that I do buy organic. I do not buy organic meat. Has anyone ever had organic filet? It tastes like a piece of sawdust. <laughs> it tastes like cardboard. I will not eat organic meat. I want the hard stuff. If I'm getting a filet, I want it. A real one. I do get organic chicken, but meat, I get real meat. Like organic meat, I do not like the taste of organic filet. It's like, or grass fed, they call it. it it's like, tastes like sawdust to me. Your dogs eat organic chicken? Yeah. Uh, Casey has a question. Merlin bird ID. Never heard of it. You can identify birds by pictures and sounds. I'll have to look it up. I already decided when I retire, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give 
I'm gonna become a, a I'm gonna give tours. <laughs> I'll be I'll be giving tours in Central Park part time when I retire. That's what I'm gonna do. And here we have the great heron to the left. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you know what I didn't look at today? Netflix. Ooh, Netflix fell. What's up with that? Okay, here we are. This is like JPM all over again from Tuesday. We're in that trade forever. Same thing here today with this. Are you sure we don't have any econ at 10 though, Jackie? Are you sure? Let's look at Wells Fargo. So this is tomorrow morning, JPM's tomorrow morning, and a couple other things I'll look at. This I would love to gap down and be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gap down and then short it so this is my top watch for tomorrow but i would prefer to short it i will not be going long this so um and jpm i think had the move so again if this is up i don't know if i'm gonna like this either so that's the bugaboo here we already played this this week and it worked so i am crossing my fingers that we can get a nice short tomorrow in wells fargo to close out the week and the start of earnings season. Natural gas at 10.30. Here we go, Amazon. I did watch the movie The Big Year. In fact, I think I should rewatch it. It's been years since I saw it. I watched it actually with my parents a long time ago. It was over the holidays. It was like a Christmas or Thanksgiving or something. We, I watched it with my parents. We, we all loved it. And that was before I even got into birds. It was a long time ago. It's, it is a great movie. And I love Steve Martin. Steve Martin actually lives near me. <laughs> he lives in New York. Like, I could walk down the street and see him. He lives a couple blocks away from me. He went out. Someone took a picture of him walking across the street. And I saw it posted on Twitter. He lives near me. Citibank. City, 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 city. I haven't had a celebrity sighting in a while. I'm due. I'm due for one. Uh, this actually may be a possible long. So, yeah, okay. This would be good if we got a bullish gap up. So, Sydney's my top long watch for tomorrow. JPM, I think the move happened already. Wells Fargo lower is what I want to see with that. So, now we have our, it organized in our heads. This Amazon... This is like JPM all over again. You should have did a video. I thought about it and I opted to do the call. We should have day traded in the video. We would have been done already. We would have been done. All right, any questions? Looks like something might be happening here. Everything all of a sudden is starting to turn really quick. I don't know if there's some kind of news or something. Everybody said that econ is done till 1030, but I don't know. All of a sudden, we got some big fat reds here. Let's look at BA. BA is next week. We could still go along the market. We could still do the spy. But since I'm still on Amazon, I don't know if I want to get crazy today with day trades. It's not too late. Not too late to go long as five, though. It really isn't still. BA. BA is either Wednesday or Thursday. BA is red. If 
what happened to PGR. PGR looks good. PGR is lower. This buy is just going to go. 446. Tesla's Wednesday? I knew Netflix was Wednesday. Tesla's in the morning, I think. Netflix is at night, Tesla's in the morning. But let's look at it. Oh, it's in the afternoon? Oh. This is ridiculous. Well, Tesla certainly isn't rallying with the market. All right, I'm in Amazon. I've been in it all morning. First quick exit we didn't get. Some people did get out. I did not. We moved the stop and gave it a cushion of 132.50. I'm fine with that, but this is like JPM all over again. We had to wait all day to get that move on Tuesday in the day trade, and then Wednesday was the move in the option, and I think I did the right thing getting out yesterday. Again, it had a large, fat green bar, and going into the earnings on Friday, it's a crapshoot. You never know. Um, as far as the market goes, we were up yesterday on econ i guess we're up today on econ too i don't buy into it but what's going to mess up this market again we talked about this the other day there's only two things they raise interest rates a half a percent or more and people don't expect it and they keep raising them that could mess up the market in the next six months or something to do with war taiwan china russia ukraine something like that where we get drug drug into something more so those are the only things that are going to make us mess up the market at this point. Otherwise, we look like we're going to make new highs, which I never anticipated. So we're back to going long. And the only thing that bothers me about that is that longs take forever. So it's the way the cookie crumbles. Look at this. It's crazy. Okay, Amazon making one more run at it. It's struggling with that 134 level for some reason. If we could actually get over that, we'll get over the high. But that level has been booping over it, retouching and retesting now ever since we took this trade. Maybe we don't get a new theme song, Jackie. Maybe we stick with Twilight Zone. I thoroughly enjoyed the Twilight Zone marathon on the July 4th weekend. Whatever whatever that new channel was that it had it. <laughs> I just love watching this. Or Rocky? Yeah. We could do the Rocky. Mm -mm 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 Stop is 132.50 in Amazon. So probably what's going to happen, if I was a betting woman, <laughs> is that JPM is going to be up, but I don't know if we're going to play it. I don't know if the gas is any good, but it's probably going to be up. That's my take, and I would say that Wells Fargo is probably going to be down. I do not think that all the banks report the same. Uh, so that's that's my take for tomorrow. We'll see if I'm right. But again, I'm not doing anything into these end of the earnings. But again, if I was a betting woman, that would be my take. And City, I think, is going to be up too. So we'll see where this is at, if this is going to be playable as well. 
Dow failed. We can watch that tomorrow too. BA is red, probably because of the Dow. And I think Amazon is good. I think it's great. I think it's holding up fine. It needs more time to wiggle and jiggle and situate itself. So let's take a look at the gap. Amazon closed yesterday at 130.31. I looked at a couple things yesterday. I thought about going long yesterday around lunchtime and in the afternoon, and I just couldn't pull the trigger. Didn't go long anything. Didn't set any options trade. Said, let me wait. If I had done calls yesterday, we would have been up a lot this morning. So I sort of regretted it then this morning. I could have done one thing, and I didn't. You know, I saw what we were doing. It's hard sometimes to believe in this, and then you want the confirmation. So today is really the confirmation. So like I said, I mean, at this point now, there's nothing that's going to stop this market from continuing up and making new highs before the end of the year. Nothing, except for the two things that I just said. Interest rates or the Fed screwing it up, and the meeting for the Fed, I think, is next week. So we have the Fed next week. We have earnings next week. We have like a million things next week that could affect the market. Any questions from new people, old people? Any of the options? Some people did some things, some people did others. Anybody gonna go see that new Tom Cruise movie? The Mission Impossible, whatever number it is. <laughs> 72 or however many he's done. I haven't even seen them all. Oh, Lord. This is taking forever. <laughs> Uh, Casey's asking, do I scale it as I hit different targets? No. Could you? Yes. I just don't do that. I don't do that with my day trades. I don't do that with my options, but you could. You absolutely could. So like you could have got out of half in the first move up in this here. We got in it and you could have just got out of half and then you could be holding the rest to a bigger target. See where it goes. So yes, you could have done that. I don't do that. That's not a rule. That's just my choice. So you could do that, and I'm sure some people do do that. So you could do that, yes. I feel like if I have to stare at something, then I have to look at it. And if I have to pay attention to my money in a trade, I may as well be fully engaged in it. So that's just kind of my personality. I'm like all or nothing in something, but that's not any kind of rule. And I think it's safer to get out of half, and then you still get the secondary move if it goes to a bigger number. And if you trail out of this and would stop, then you probably wouldn't lose because you, you got almost a dollar out of that. So the next number is, I don't think gonna affect the market. It's gas at 1030. Let's see if something's going on here. Let me look it up. I'm taking the screen off for a second just to see why we're turning around or if it's just for so. Microsoft. No, I don't see anything either. Let me go to CNBC. Market is starting to look past how many rate hikes might be ahead. That was this morning. Some economists said, I don't think there'll be a need for further rate hikes. Again, I think there's an other people are overly optimistic. If they think the rate hikes are working, they're going to keep doing them to try to get down to 2% inflation. They may just slow the pace of them, which they already said last meeting. So I think, I, I don't think that'll stop the market though from making new highs this year if it's going to keep going though but I am definitely surprised. No, I don't see anything. I think this is just 
people taking some profits here. So as of right now, we might be in this for another hour. I hope not, but I don't know. Any other questions? So again, tomorrow is the start of earnings season with the banks. A couple of big banks Friday, then the rest next week. The big ones I'm watching really is going to be City and Wells Fargo for me because we played JPM already. It had a nice move up. Yes, it could continue, but I just don't think the setup's going to be right in it. You saw the sound of freedom. I don't want to go see that. I don't, I, it's too, I don't want to get upset. When I take time off working, I do not want to get upset about things. I want to be happy and laugh and like, I don't, that's not entertainment to me. That's like upsetting. I don't want to go see that if I'm sitting in a movie theater. Mission Impossible, I might want to go see. But I, I never saw the first, the other ones, so I almost have to catch up. They'd have to be a marathon of the other ones. Maybe I, maybe there will be over the weekend. I can watch the first couple ones because I didn't see all of them. The Sound of Freedom is too upsetting. I don't want to go see that. Too graphic. Okay, let's check out PGR. So PGR did go. First setup worked. I said you could do it again. If you didn't do it, I said you could still do it. 120, 119, 117. Like this literally could get to 117 and you still could even do this here. So again, it's traded strange at the beginning and I liked Amazon. I loved it. I still do. It's actually holding up really well with the market coming down a little bit, but it's a long, a long just takes so long to go, but it, that's what we have to do. That's what we have to do. Okay, one more run up here in this Amazon. We're trying. We got to get over 134. 10, 10. 10, 10. Here we go again. I mean, every point here is an opportunity to just pile on if you want to keep adding. I just don't feel like getting aggressive today when earnings season doesn't start tomorrow. We will be aggressive, though, in some earnings trades. I would love another Nike. In fact, let's look at that today. We said we were going to pay attention to that. What did that do? Nothing. Oh, you know, what else was the other one we were going to look at? God, it was right in the back of my head. We were going to look at something else. Here goes the spy. Um, Target, yeah. And then there's one other one. No, this hasn't done anything. In fact, this really hasn't done anything. There was another one, too. This is a great example. You know why we're in this and why this hasn't gone yet? Because there's day traders trying to short this for a gap fill. It ain't working, though, because this isn't going down. But that is why you keep seeing it bump up to the number and then see the red bars where they're trying to short it into an area to push it down. It ain't going to work. But this is why this has not gone yet. So what's going to make it go up? More buying has to come into it. And then, of course, the people that are shorting this will get stopped out. But I'm seeing this here, just sitting here and staring at this trading action now for almost 45 minutes. That is exactly why this has not gone yet up again a secondary time for us because there are people trying to short this that are day traders to fill the gap. It's not going to work. This is a stupid thing to do in particular because of the strength in the market today, but it's a stupid thing to do anyways. But that is why this hasn't gone up a second time yet. So we need more buyers in here to push it up. So we're sitting here waiting. I did not anticipate being in this trade all day, but if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. But that is why this hasn't gone up yet. You have day traders in here trying to short it for a gap fill. And we just gotta wait till more buying comes in. 
Well, the Dow was not a good gap up. So we did not go along this because it wasn't a good gap up. So the failure here is not surprising. So yeah, people played this for a gap fill, but really it wasn't a good gap up. It wasn't a good stock to go long and it wasn't a good bullish gap. And again, I said, if the market goes today, maybe this will go, but it never opened over 50, failed out of the gate. And the market, market has not really gotten going yet. Like the market's just sitting here. Actually, this looks exactly like yesterday. This looks exactly, if you rewind 24 hours ago, this is the, the same thing. So we gapped up yesterday, sat on our butts. Had to move overnight, gapped up today, sat on our butts. So I'm looking for some trajectory in this market today. I'm looking for some momentum. I'm not looking for a close today, similar to yesterday. But as of right now at 10.13, the market looks exactly like it did yesterday at this same time. A gap up where it's not going anywhere, it's sitting on its butt. But I don't think that's how the day is gonna close. That's why I keep saying you can still go on the market. You could still go on the market. You could still get in the spy. It hasn't made the move yet. You could still go long. I mean, you could still even get in this, but you know, you, you might be in this all day till four o'clock. So a lot of big things out tomorrow and a lot of big things out next week. But again, getting back to the discussion on the overall market, the market's strong. The market is in an uptrend. The market is bullish. It continues to go higher. I thought we were break, we didn't. June was a very bullish month, it just was. You know, I sat and analyzed that last week when I was off and I said, wow, we really ran up in June. And I did not go along the market in June. I did other things, but not the market. So as interesting as it is where you say the economic data doesn't match up and this thing, that thing, the other, you gotta look at the price action and when you see what's happening here, you can't be in denial about the strength of the market. I will be shocked if we make new highs, but at this point now, after today's gap up, there doesn't seem to be anything that's gonna stop this market from doing that. The banks would have to all tank and crash, which is not gonna happen on earnings. So I don't think all banks are gonna be up, and I don't think all banks are gonna be down, but they would all almost have to crash, at least the big ones, for this market to shift and turn around in the next week, and I just don't think that's gonna happen. So let's look at Goldman quick. Did anybody do PGR? It's going to break 120 again and go. This is just way too spreading, way too spreading, way too thin out of the gate. Um, and that was the problem with this. But if we had nothing else to look at, like I said, I would have watched it. If we had nothing else to do, we would have done this today. It, it, honestly, if we had nothing else to do, we would have done it. And I'm glad we didn't do doll because it wouldn't have worked and you can't short this. And, and so here's my two cents in the market. I think we have a run up today. Could be 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock into the close. I don't think we close like yesterday. So if you are long, you must be patient. I don't know if I'm going to be in Amazon to 4 o'clock. I'm not leaving the room open until 4 o'clock. But again, we, we, we waited forever in JPM on Tuesday. <laughs> I don't remember what time I got out of that, but it was not quick. Any other questions from anybody here? So I think we did the right thing today, staying focused and not over trading. Uh, we could have scalped a couple of things. That's not really what I do. My take for the day is the market has a move today. It doesn't sit on its butt like yesterday. That could be too three more hours from now though till it goes. At that point then Amazon will go too. PGR worked, if we had nothing else to look at we would have done it. Dow wasn't a good gap, didn't open up over 50, you need to do that. That would have been a good play over 50 long and because it was earnings probably would have had a decent move. So tomorrow's top watch is Wells Fargo short, if we can get it, 
and see long if we can get it, although I have no idea how to report and I don't know what their earnings are and we're probably not doing JPM, but I could change my mind in the morning. So one thing's for sure, if one at least of the two of the three big banks that reports tomorrow are up, the market will be up again tomorrow. And that's something that you're not gonna know until you get up in the morning. So it would, I would prefer to have a run up in the market today. That's what I would prefer. But we're gonna have to get used to going long again. Obviously, that's what we did this week. Strange. Who was left in Amazon with me? I know some people got out and they're long done. Jackie's in it. Me and Jackie, are we alone? The lone ladies. Ivan's in it. Very good. You know why else we're probably up today talking about socioeconomic issues because the summit happened and they're they're not going to let Ukraine in NATO and I think the market also reacted positive to that I think the market would have reacted negative to that <clears throat> So again, why hasn't the market gone higher yet? Why isn't the SPY at 450? Because people are trying to play this day traders as a gap fill. It's the wrong thing to do. This isn't going to break. So again, that's why this hasn't gone up yet. We could have done the market yesterday. I just really am trying to be conservative this week. Or at least till earnings season starts. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. Finally, this chart is starting to look like it has something going for it. Again, we played the earnings in this weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Chart looks strange, should have looked a lot different. We talked about this. When are things gonna start to go? Finally, finally, finally. Looked at this yesterday and then I just said, ah, it's too late. Now it's gotta get over 450. Now it's gotta keep going. Now it's gotta go to 460. Now it's gotta really show its hand if it's gonna go. That, I think, is two weeks from now. The video. <laughs> See, every time this comes down and makes a tally thing, that's getting bought. So the retail traders are trying to short it, and yet every time it comes down, Somebody's coming in there and buying it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. See it? Like, this got bought here. Honestly, if we went along every day and we didn't short every day, we'd probably be trading every day to at least two. 12 to two. Like, we'd be trading every day for more than half the day. It would be exhausting. <laughs> if we if we went long every day, we'd be trading, our trading days would be four, four to five hours long. Honestly, my day would be, I'd never be over at 9.35. <laughs> we'd never be done at 
we'd be like we'd be trading till two o'clock every day one to two like seriously look this is getting bought we're in the right direction but day traders are trying to short it right here at this resistance for a gap fill down to here it is not going to work I'm very confident in this. This is a nice long, but it's just taking forever like longs do. And that's the bugaboo. PGR worked, though. If you wanted a short, there was one pick. It was Jackie's pick. Here, here. It just broke. Just broke the load. Just broke 120. I'm sitting here looking at it, staring at it, but I don't want to do two things today because I'm not out of Amazon yet. But you could have done this. You could have done it 10 times. 10 times, 20 times. So look for a run up today in the market, late. Late, 12, two, into the close, late. Or what's the other scenario? We close today looking like yesterday, which I don't think we're gonna do, but if we do, then we'll be gapping up again tomorrow probably. And then we'll have the run up into the end of the week. So that's another scenario. I'd rather have the run up today for lots of reasons to get out of this Amazon, to get a move, to get out of something today with profit. Ten twenty four, we do have a number at ten thirty, it's natural gas. I don't think that's really going to affect anything, but we are going to be in this through that number. Any other questions? Any questions from the new people? If you're new, I would go slow. Take your time. Um, I didn't look what's out tonight. Let's look what's out tonight. I'm just going to take this off for one minute. I think there are some things tonight. Let's check it out. Tonight is, today is the 13th. Oh, no, we only have one thing tonight. Washington Federal... I thought we had more things tonight. BlackRock is tomorrow morning as well. United Health, we can look at that. UNH. Oh, we just had news on crypto. Bitcoin's falling. We can look at UNH, that's another one. That's in the morning. Another very spready one though. I don't think Apple's out till August, but I'll look it up later. So I'm long Amazon, was up in it, didn't get out, moved the stop from 132.80 to 132.50, never got to the 80, but I moved it anyways. Market, I'm looking to break out today. So far, it's not. Amazon, so far, I'm waiting here. Thought I'd be out of this hours ago. Didn't do the ad because I didn't want to get aggressive. But you had plenty of placements that you could have done that. And JPM is still going. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable here. I, I just, you know, again, I think I had a good exit. And then I really thought that this morning. But this could get over 150 today. Well, that'll help the market. That'll help the market, actually. So Tesla is the only thing that doesn't look good of all the things that we're watching. 
Netflix is going to wait till the earnings next week. Tesla does, just doesn't look good. I don't know. I'm not in anything with Tesla, but it doesn't look good. So again, one of the reasons that I prefer to short is because of the fact I can get in and out fast. We went long though today, and we went long on Tuesday. And if there's setups there, we're going to go long. But honestly, I prefer to short because we can be out of things quickly. If we did PGR today, we would have been done. And I could have been done to this quick, but I thought it was going to go up to 135, and it reversed very, very fast. I like this gap. I love this gap. I think this is higher. I think it's higher today. Right now, the market's turning around. It's 1028. And so this is going to go with the market. And as I've been saying for the last hour, this could take all day. And I really didn't want that, but it's too late. Unless you want to kill it, you have to wait for it to go. It's not stopping us out, but. Yeah, well, the, the, the PGR, by the time I felt that it had gotten a little bit tighter, not so spready, I was already in the Amazon. But I said 52 times here, you could do it here. It's not too late. You could still do it here. You could do it here. And again, I said 117. I mean, you can see that looks more and more likely. 118.60. I mean, 117 is like nothing for this. But out of the gate, this would have been a whippersnapper. We did watch it. I liked Amazon. I still like it. But the bottom line is that PGR was a fast trade today because it was a short. 117, 115 dream target today in this. You could still do it now, but you have to put the stop at the right place and I don't think it makes sense. But when it was over 120 was the place to do it like a half an hour ago. You're in Apple long, Ivan? Okay, I didn't do a long an apple. You did. Where did you do it and why? I'm a long apple. Where did you do it and why? Oh, Gerard did this yesterday as a day trade. He did it as a day trade. He didn't do an option in this. He did it as a day trade. When he subbed for me in the room. What is the expiration of the call that you did? Amazon is good. Amazon is good. What is the expiration? If it's tomorrow, this will go if the market goes in the next 24 hours. Otherwise, it's not going to. So that's the chance you got to take. If your expiration date for this is the 14th, then you're going to have to make a decision here today with knowing nothing. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. But if you are have an expiration date of the 14th, I mean of the 21st, you could hold it if you want. If this expires tomorrow, I don't think this goes anywhere today unless the market makes a run up. And even if it does, this doesn't look that great. But if the market does a two day run up today into tomorrow, then maybe you can get something out of this. But I wouldn't hold it if it expires tomorrow like that. I wouldn't take my chances. I don't know what, where you're at with the position here, what cost it is. Oh, it does expire tomorrow. Then I'd wait today to see if the market gets a run up and get out before four. That's my two cents. Get out today before four if the market gets a run up, whatever you can get out of it. Whether you're down a little, whether you're up a little, whether you're flat, that's my two cents. I think you're taking a chance holding it into tomorrow because if the banks don't report well and the market reverses tomorrow, then that's going to go completely bust. For 
was something else that I was going to say where we're talking about the market. Oh, I know. We were I was talking about the summit and we were talking about not letting Ukraine into NATO. Something's going to happen with that because he's going to push the Zinsky is going to push the envelope with that. Know that he realizes he's not going to get entry into NATO for real after that summit. So my take is my two cents is that somebody's going to push the envelope with that now because he's not getting what he wants. So that'll be interesting to see. I am going to be in this all day for the rest of my life. Maybe we should just go along the market. If I can go along the market, maybe I'll just kill the Amazon. It's not going anywhere down. Let's do it. Stop's going to be 446.80. 446.80. Let's go along the spy here if you want. 446.80 is the stop. You could do it right in here at 20. It's not too late. 440, 450, I'm sorry, is the target. Put the stop at 80. And again, this is a day trade if you want it in the SPY, if you're ready in Amazon. So maybe what I'll do is get a run up back up to this, get out with whatever, and then take the SPY up. But like I said, this isn't going anywhere down. So I decided to do the market too. You could do this if you want. Target's 450. It's dollar eighty. So we'll see. So let's let's look at the last time the market made a new high since we're discussing it was January fourth, twenty twenty two. Four seven nine ninety eight. I mean, we hit over 450, we're 30 points away. And that's crazy, isn't it? Let's look at the cues. It was the end of 2021, November. Four oh eight seventy one. Four oh eight. About 35 points. So now I'm in two things. I think Amazon holds. It's just taken a long time. Decided to do this. I sat and liked it all morning, actually. So I did the calls on this, but since I'm sitting here in the Amazon and I can't move because I'm in the day trade, I decided to go long this. I think this rips. So new high in the SPY once it gets over 448.51. PGR is at 117. <laughs> I knew it. I said I said 117. One, I said 115 dream target. It's completely insane. Look. Uh. Yeah, it's gone. It's, you could have done it here when i was discussing it i said you could still do this that's three dollars from there three bucks plus i could have done it i could have done this and because i was waiting for the amazon i wanted to get out of that amazon i just wanted to get out that it was fine after it situated itself it really was. Somewhere in here, it, it got normal. But I looked at it, and I kept talking about it. I said 117, it did, there. But I was already in this. I was already in this, and I'm still in this. And now I'm in this. So I'm in two longs today. We missed the PGR, unless you didn't. Even though I talked about it all morning. Hopefully we've got a good short tomorrow. We can sink our teeth into it. The 15 minute on the spy looks great. 
The 15 minute on Amazon doesn't look awful. It just needs more buyers. Like I said, people are shorting this for a gap fill. I don't think it goes down. But I've got to stop in. So I opted to do the spy. If I stop in this, I'm in the spy. It's too late to do PGR. I still think I'm, I'm going to be fine with this, though. <laughs> but I've been saying that for an hour. <laughs> or since we did it, which was like literally an hour and eight minutes ago. Or maybe just, we were in this at 931. I think it looks lovely. But it's a snail. What was the last snail we did? Not snap, it was something else. We did a snail. We did a snail in June, and we were talking about how we love snails because it, it was a good trade. I forget what it was. So, again, talking this through, I saw the market yesterday, did the webinar in the morning. Looked at everything. I said, I can't even believe this. Talked to Gerard on the phone. I said to him, this is crazy. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, I'm just like, I said, yeah, I'm thinking about going long, but I don't know if I can do it. So today I got the confirmation and we're long. So you just, you can't, you can't ignore it. So even though many people would not go long today because they feel like we're too extended, fact is we're not extended, we're going to break out. So whether it happens today or tomorrow, I think it's soon, so I don't want to miss the big move. But if I had gone long yesterday, I would have gotten some profit in here from today's gap up. You know, I, I didn't look and see what these cost yesterday to do them. CCL, that was it. That was the snail that was a really nice trade. That took all day. I held that down all day, and that was a short. But it was a snail. That's right. It was this. Look what that did after the fact. Crazy. Completely insane. Any other questions from anybody about anything at all? Anyone want to go over any options while we're sitting here waiting? Ivan, I told you what to do with the apple. I'm not in it. But if you get a run up today somewhere between now and 4 o'clock, I'd be out. I'd be out whatever, whatever. If you're up, I'd be out. If you're down, I'd be out. If you're flat, I'd be out. Because the fact is that I don't know what happens tomorrow with the banks. So I really would not have done this as, a, as an option because it has earnings coming up and there are other charts that look better. But actually, if Apple runs up, that will help these longs. Amazon, 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 Amazon. Prime day's over though, right? The prime days are over. I didn't buy anything. I didn't need anything. <laughs> I don't know what I would have gotten. I need nothing. Look at this. This is a good long. In fact, this will blow prior to the high. I was trying to get it over the high. The people that are short this, that are day traders, doing this for a gap fell, shorted at this, at this level. So this will blow here if you can hang on to get over 134 again. That's where it should go pop and then go up. Jackie, do you still hate the 15 minute? I don't. I don't hate it at all. Brenda, are you there? You were asking questions about options. Brenda, are you there? Since we're sitting here, I have time to go over it. So I might make money in two things today. Because I decided to do two things. It looks better now. 
Brenda, you were talking to Julie about, you didn't understand about options with the cost. When you buy something that's an option, it has a cost to the position, which more expensive stocks have higher price options. But again, we're not doing the crazy expensive ones anymore because they're not crazy expensive anymore since Amazon split and Google split. The most crazy expensive one would be a NVIDIA, actually. But that's not even what we used to pay for the old, old, back-in-the-day Amazons. But anyways, when you pay something, it's the price you're paying for the cost of the position to buy it and then sell it. She said you had questions about that. So if something costs $1.75, like we were talking about, for example, like JPM, you could put a sell order at double the price of that, which would be $3.50, which means that she would have made what? 100%. I'm not sure if that answers your question, but there's a cost associated with buying options, which is like, it's like, it's like you're betting. You're betting that the stock price is going to move higher or lower, higher when you buy a call or lower, you'd be buying a put. So you're paying the cost of it, which is not necessarily the cost of the stock. But for example, if, you know, and again, I'm just making this up here. If you buy JPM, and I didn't call this trade, but if you buy the 150 calls, whatever you'd pay for this now, and I'm just making this up, say it costs a buck fifty. If it goes up to 150, approximately a dollar from here, it's probably going to be worth close to a dollar more than you paid, which would be like 250 or maybe 225 ish or something. Depends how fast it goes. I don't know if that answers your question. We're gonna fall asleep before this goes, but I got plenty of coffee and I can caffeine myself all day. <laughs> caffeine it up. Oh my God, talk about caffeine. What's going on with those energy drinks? That guy that used to be the YouTube guy, then he became a wrestler guy. I can't even think of his name because he's just like, he's not a celebrity to me, but the guy that now he's getting sued or something or people died or what happened. Like those energy drinks had like six times the caffeine a person should drink or something or what happened with that? Jackie, you would know because he used to be a nurse. Jake Paul, that's it. Casey got it. You need to learn how to put the stop order in. That's what I'm saying, Brenda. You could do a test. You could do a test trade. Why don't you do it right now with the SPY? You could buy the SPY I called this morning, buy it, and then we could do a test. You could do the SPY. You could still do it. It didn't go yet. Do a little test. Why would anyone buy any food item from Jake Paul? <laughs> Drink or food item that they would put into their actual human body. I don't know. He's not a nutritionist. Are you in the train yet, Brenda? Okay, if the box is blacked out, then that's what you have to call Julie about. That's what you have to call her about. And you could do that now because it's it's 1045. That, you could do that. And you could buy the spy right now, and then you could put in a stop order to sell it at a certain price, whatever you want to do, as a test. So Amazon looks great, but we're in it forever. Same thing with the market.
So people are buying this into the earnings. Crazy, but it's happening. We already did it. We already got out. People are buying it today. Insane. So I don't know. Like this could be, this could be at 154, 155 by tomorrow morning. Again, I'm not taking this trade into the earnings that I did the trade and got out. But who knows? People are buying JPM before the earnings tomorrow morning. In fact, they're buying all the banks, actually. Amazon looks good. Amazon looks great. If you want to, you could add here and you could get out at 134. You could add under your price here, which is what you'd be doing from where we originally took it and cost averaging your price down. And then you'd be up by the time it runs up. This is a nice call. It's just taken forever. Good eye here for me to see that this was not going to go down, that this was not going to fail like Dow. It's not the same type of gap. It is a good gap. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. Hold on. I know what I wanted 